welcome back to the Every Closet channel. My name is Stephanie, along with my partner Ethan, we are two full-time resellers of used clothing on Poshmark and eBay. So if that sounds like something you do, or you want to do, or you're interested in learning about, hit subscribe down below, and we're going to get into today's video. We are not doing much intro, we are just getting into it. We are doing our very first ever Goodwill Bins haul. So I posted about the Goodwill Bins on my Instagram, and maybe Ethan can put up the breakdown that I put up on my Instagram in the comments about how much we actually spent on the trip. If you don't know, the Goodwill Bins is at what we call the Goodwill Outlet Stores, and that's where you pay for clothing by the pound. So at the one we went to in Everett, Washington, it was $1.79 per pound. Of course, that was US dollars, so then we had to convert that into Canadian dollars. We had to pay a fee on our car for transporting commercial goods at the border going to the US. We had to pay duties coming back into Canada as a commercial vehicle, and we had to pay gas, obviously, to get there and back, which is not a cheap thing these days. And so I believe, if I remember incorrectly, that that was 565 Canadian dollars that we spent on the whole entire trip, including duties, including gas, including everything. And so I hadn't counted how many items we'd bought yet, but I have now. So we got 267 items, which, hang on, I do have to do this on my phone because I forgot already, <clears throat> would make it $2.12 approximately in per item cost of goods, which is pretty good, especially considering we live in the Vancouver, Canada area and you can't get anything for $2 here nothing not even of snickers i'm just gonna get into it we're gonna split this video into a few parts because it's too many items for one video i don't want you to have to sit for longer than an hour i don't want me to have to be here for longer than an hour we were really really accepting of things this time i would not pick up some of this if i was going again i'll tell you which items i wouldn't and also i didn't make like ask ethan to even check with me so i was just like anything that you think would sell put it in the cart and he's really good at finding brands at this point, but <laughs> I think you might have gotten of one or two things that was a little fake or um, like this item, a little shrunk. So this is a Moth by Anthropology sweater. It does say it's a size small, so it's possible, but it's made of alpaca and acrylic. I think it looks a little, a little too like, oh gosh, maybe it's not but I think it looks a tiny bit shrunk. So um, if you don't know Moth, it's carried by Anthropology. I would always pick up Anthropology pieces at the bins. They're quite popular in Canada and you can get some money for them in the States too. They like retail for an arm and a leg. Next, I picked up this pair of suede high-waisted shorts. This is actually um, Express brand, which is not something I often picked up, but it said uh, that it was genuine leather. So, suede shorts. I thought those were really cool. We picked those up. Next is this halogen sweater. Um, halogen, I believe to be a Nordstrom in-house brand, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But I picked this up because it was so soft and it's 100% cashmere. So, yeah. I'll just say now, one of the items, I'm not going to show it to you because it's already gone, is a smart wool sweater. I just got so excited seeing smart wool. And you can sell smart wool, merino wool, with some holes or depending but this had like way too many holes to sell and in the worst spot possible like the middle of like your torso so yeah we we, we donated that next i got this piece it says pierre lamont but i just got it off style it seemed like really substantial and like something that someone might want like kind of a patchwork oversized cardigan um, so I got that one off style. I got these Nike sweatpants. These actually don't have a stain, believe it or not, or at least not that I've found so far. We'll see when I'm photoing them if that's still true. But yeah, they're just medium Nike fit sweatpants in cream color. Um, I picked up this athletic shirt because, and I can't tell for sure, but doesn't that look like Patagonia? Doesn't it look like it says Patagonia? So... But there's no additional Patagonia like branding on it anywhere. So if I can find online that Patagonia sold this, I will sell it as Patagonia. And if not, I'll just sell it as a cute sunflower periwinkle shirt. <laughs> periwinkle. 
You can make anything periwinkle if that's the color that's in style right now, which is apparently true according to Poshmark's style section. Next, we picked up this nasty gal mustard yellow dress. It's like a rock style dress, and it's got these cute sleeves. It's in a size six. Oh, next we got these Adidas sweatpants. They're just black Adidas sweatpants. They say Adidas in like a really cool light blue that looks like almost white. And they're a size extra large. Makes sense. Next, I got this Forever 21 sweater. And I wouldn't pick up Forever 21 ordinarily, but I thought this was extra cute. And it's got kind of a cable knit um going down here so if you can add the word cable knit to your listing there's a better chance it'll sell yeah, yeah, yeah. next we got this prana i think it's a dress yeah that's a dress um it's a size small it's hooded and it's like a dark orange and brown shade and it's prana which is like a outdoorsy kind of brand next i picked up this madewell sweater it's got these pockets in the front it's you know, just a knit Madewell sweater. I think it's 100% cotton and it's a size extra small. Next, I picked up this uh, like fleece teddy half zip. That's why I got it, not because of the brand. The brand says it's Uline. Uline? Uh, not a brand. Reasoning on this one, just because of the teddy knit, which was a very high seller for me last fall, so. Hopefully it is again this fall and it says it's in a 2XL, which might be true or just like anyone could wear it oversized. Another thing I got because it was a teddy knit and also probably because it was purple. Let's be really honest here. But yeah, just like a Sherpa teddy knit mauve purple. Oh, and it's this brand 32 degree heat. That's not a great brand to pick up. Um, I wouldn't pick it up unless it was something like that's particularly in style right now, like a Sherpa. Next, we got this leaf dress. It's a wrap dress. It's a wrap midi dress by the brand Leaf, which is an in-house Nordstrom brand. I would never pick this up at Value Village, but given that this is very light and it was at the bins, we'll see what we can make on it. <laughs> Next, I got this stitch shirt and it says Ohana means family and family means no one left behind. Um, and I'm sure I got this because I've sold a few stitch things recently. So I just have faith that they'll sell. Um, and it's in a size medium, and it's, the brand is Disney, so yeah, it's just a cute little Lilo and Stitch Stitch shirt. Next, we have a North Face fleece. Um, this is no woman's extra small, which makes total sense to me. But yeah, if you see the North Face at the bins, then you can pick it up. I see it all the time in our value village, and it's like $30, and I'm like, well, that's what I would charge, so... Okay, next, another brandless item that I just got because I thought it was cute and it was also pretty lightweight, so... But yeah, it's just a, like a turtleneck rose print sweater. I think someone might want it, but who knows? I, again, I was pretty liberal. I don't know if I'd pick this up again. Next, we have a pair of American Eel jeans. I believe these to be men's. Let's see. The, the size would give it away because it would have length if it's men's and if it was women's it'd be like two four six eight just an american eagle pair of jeans there wasn't anything wrong with them and people will buy american eagle jeans if you make them available next is a pair of old navy jeans which i would not have picked up but they were new tags so i figured fine new tags old navy jeans even though these were probably like two pounds but that just means they were around five bucks and hopefully someone will give us like 20, 25. Next was this Jones New York sweater. Um, it's like, a, not a waffle neck quite, but it's a chunky knit with like a turtleneck. I just thought this was such a good neutral piece for fall, which I know is forever from now, but that's kind of how I source just for forever from now. <laughs> and so yeah, we picked that up. This is a Zara basic shirt. Um, it's in a size small and it's just like a olive green or like a light sage green, like a almost chambray utility shirt. Utility shirt, that's probably the word I was looking for. Next we have this really cute piece to me with tags, Nasty Go. The tag says, okay, it doesn't say dollars, but like, yeah, I thought this was super cute. This was a no-brainer for me. New tags nasty doll at the bins. This must have been like, well, two dollars around and 15 cents. Next, I picked up this velvet heart chambray, like mini dress. 
Um, I picked this up because I've sold this exact dress before. So it sold for like $35 and we got it for $2 and something and it's a size large. So if we can repeat that, great. Um, that might have been a one-off. So like if we get 24, I would also be very happy. Next up is this tie-dye mud shirt. And I just got it because it was tie-dye. You shouldn't pick up this brand mud. It's like honestly something you should avoid. And it is an extra extra small, but it was tie-dye and it's cute. And I just, um, I don't know. I wanted it in my cart and I didn't have a lot of filter on that day, as you'll see. Next, one of our better finds for sure, was this Vince piece. Vince size medium. I don't know if it's supposed to be a mini dress. That's a mini, mini dress or a tunic shirt or, you know, like something in between. But it's got kind of that like draped neck. And it's Vince, so that was cool. This is a pair of Athleta pants in a size two. Um, they really need a deep pillar, but other than that, and then I guess there's also this like little lighting spot. I'll see if I can like stain remove that, but I'm kind of doubting it because it's lighter instead of darker. But anyway, Athleta has sold pretty well for me in the past. Next, we just have a very simple, basic pair of TNA leggings in an extra small. Um, they seemed like they were in really good condition and possibly even modern TNA leggings, which would sell a lot better than the old ones. So we will see if anyone wants these. Hopefully we can get like 15, 20, 25 dollars for them. Next, these are Torrid, which is a plus size uh, fast fashion brand. But Torrid sells really, it's like a bread and butter brand for me. And this is in a size 28. And yeah, they're just like these capri pants, cargo-y looking things. This is very light. Hopefully it only costs a dollar to us, but it's a Sunday best pastel yellow kind of cropped t-shirt and it's got a bulldog on it. And I think that's adorable. Next, the only little lemon we found at the bins, but we found it and Ethan found it. And I was very pleased with it. It's like, yeah, can you see that? So it's like a t-shirt, but it has the rip tag still, which is amazing. And it had um like stains, but I just washed it and they all went away, which is cool. They were like, it was almost like a like really, really surface, like barely discolored at all. So yes, this, I got this. I wouldn't pick this up again. Um, This I, saw it and I thought hey maybe that's free people and then when I looked up the yard and number it was nothing special but I thought this looked kind of like something free people might make and the tag was cut out of the back so I was like hey I'll just take it and find out later and what I found out later was I probably shouldn't have taken this but that's okay it's still it'll still move eventually we'll just see what for this though was made by free people it's got the free people one tag here and it's like a waffle net with that you get it next thing we picked up was this vintage baby blue like silk onesie nighty oh with significant issues oh no why didn't i see this before okay we might not be selling this but we might maybe i could hem it because all the issue is at the bottom but it is like significant issue we will see we'll see what happens there but i just saw this i thought i didn't see many flaws but i was clearly quite blind this is a lauren ruff lauren cardigan i only got it because it was a like kind of crochet open knit long line cardigan um and because it was in a size large but we will see how it does um one of the brands ethan stone picks up that i do not is polar ruff lauren so ethan picked up this polar ruff lauren shirt to be fair it is purple um and it's in a men's medium we will see how this goes maybe this is a good thing to pick up but from my experience i don't think it is i got this burton shirt it's got a mountain on it and it's in a size large and it's orange and it just looks like the kind of graphic t-shirt that like pacific northwest people would wear next i got this hurley pullover it says 99 on it it's in a size extra large sure so <laughs> Yeah, Hurley sells pretty well, but not for much at all. So we'll see how that one goes. Next, I picked up this American Apparel t-shirt. It's just a plain green t-shirt. I thought Ethan might want it, but he did not. 
so we will see if we can sell it. Next we got this Roots like crochet vest sort of thing which I thought was super cute and it's in a size small. The next thing we picked up at the bins was this super cute, I think it's vintage, it says made in the USA so that's a good sign. Um, like. Not a grandpa sweater, but you know, one of those, why can't I think of words? It's a chunky, oversized sweater. I think a man or a woman would want to wear it, and I want to wear it, so that's why I picked it up. Um, next was probably a bit of a mistake. If you can see under these lights, there's a bunch of stains on this. Like here, 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 they're like everywhere. The sleeves are pretty stained. Oh, it's, it bothers me so much. But I'm, I'm trying to remove them slowly, and also I'm still going to try and sell this because Look how cute it is! Look how freaking cute this is! Um, and it was also pretty light for a hoodie. And the brand is Truly Madly Deeply, which I believe is like an Urban Outfitters brand maybe? Or maybe I'm making that up. But like, I couldn't leave this there. It was so freaking cute. So I'm just gonna have to do some serious stain treating and then just disclose them. Um, because to be perfectly honest with you, I'd still wear this with the stains on it. So we'll see if anyone else feels the same though. Got this loft shirt. Um, I probably got it because it was purple. It's an extra small though, so I can't wear it. So I don't know why purple would have swayed me. But it's like got this cool net detail all down the arms. And so I think it's cute. And it's pro it probably came home because it was purple. I'm not going to lie to you. These are a pair of Columbia plus size shorts. They're like cargo shorts. They're really lightweight, which was good for the bins, but also good for summer. And they're in a size men's 44. So fairly large plus size, which is good. And that's why I picked those up. This is a horny toad shirt. Um, it is currently called Toad & Co. So if you find those, those are newer pieces. But since we're at the bins and since I don't find this very often, I wanted to try it. Um, we'll see how this shirt does. It's got like the chevron in the back, like party in the back, business in the front kind of vibe. Okay, this is another brand you shouldn't pick up, but I thought this was a cute, like almost kind of boho-y shirt. It's got the like sleeves, you know, it's cute, but this is Rue 21, which is not a worthwhile brand to pick up. It also was an extra large, and I don't, even currently I don't see stains. Oh, maybe right there is the slight. So I'll work on this team, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that up. I'm just showing you what I did get, not necessarily what I should have gotten. <laughs> this is a really cute dress in my opinion. It's got like a really cool neckline and I think it's Banana Republic. Yeah, it's Banana Republic, just a size two, but it seemed really like, I feel like my Barbie wore this in the 90s. Anyone else? <laughs> like very jewel toned, like, and it's got this weird texture that I can't describe. Can you see the texture? No, that's not a thing. Next was this super cute Urban Outfitters skirt. It's just a pencil skirt by Urban Outfitters. It's in a size small. It's got a little flower zipper at the back. Super cute. Next was a pair of Levi's. These have raw hem. They're black Levi's in a size 28. High rise skinny, 721. So I think there are people who still buy skinny jeans out there and this is a bet I'm taking to prove that to myself. But if these don't sell, then I will adjust that behavior. <laughs> this is just an Eddie Bauer waffle knit shirt, um, like Henley shirt. It's in a size large, oh, 2XL. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be really fitted. So it's in a size 2XL um, and it's purple and that might have helped. This is not a brand I know about, but I saw this and I thought my sister might like it. So I'm going to show it to her and see if she likes it. And then if not, then I'm going to sell it because I still think it would sell. But this is not a brand I've ever heard of or know about. And that's falling off. Oh, but it isn't a size large. She's not a large. But it's like, it could be oversized, no problem. Classics N NTA. Made in China. Yeah, I don't know. This is a pair of Eddie Bauer, like cargo hiking shorts. Where's the size? Oh, size eight. Yeah, so I would never again pick this up at my value village. It'd be like eight or ten dollars versus at the bins. It was two dollars for me. And hopefully someone will give me 20, 24, somewhere in that range. Okay, I'm so sorry, Ethan. I know you're going to be watching this uh, because you have to edit it. This is ostensibly Patagonia. Let me know what you guys think. I just think it looks a little sus, but maybe it's a vintage Patagonia. Maybe it's like really old 
Patagonia. I don't know. It just does not look legit to me. I'll look more into it, but I'm not, I'm not super convinced this is real Patagonia. Um, if it was, it'd be a base layer, like cobalt blue. Very large, extra large shirt, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is that just like obviously fake or is it obviously like something from the 70s or 90s that I don't know about? Like, or am I just crazy and that's what Patagonia always looks like and I, I've been buying other stuff that's fake. I don't know. <laughs> Ethan picked these up as well and they, they were a great pickup, obviously. These are John Varvato's like dress pants. The issue I'm having with these, and I don't know how we're going to get around it, is that there's a hole right here. So, I don't know, do we repair it? I don't know how to repair that. It's in a bad spot. So it's not really one of those holes that you can just disclose and sell anyway. That's a bad spot for a hole. So we're going to have to see, but the John Garvedos tag, I mean, I totally understand. And missing that, like, it's kind of hard when you're at the bins, especially your first time. When you're like, I'm going to check all these over at the end. And then your cart's absolutely stuffed full. And you're like, I'm not going to check any of this, am I? This is an Alpha Elite black plain t-shirt. Um, I don't see any sizing information. But Alpha Elite, I would say, is a direct competitor of Gymshark as a brand. Maybe I just think that because I know that the, like, owners knew each other and stuff. But not owners, but like, never mind. Alpha Elite's a fairly popular exercise brand. It's just a plain black shirt, but I think it would sell. I'm not so confident in this pickup either, but it was standard James Purse in a size 3, which is like, they have vanding sizing, so large. But it's so pilled, and it's just a plain gray t-shirt. So, I'm going to depill it. We're going to see if that makes it better. And we're going to see if it sells. But yeah, it's a good brand. I'm just not sure I'd pick up something this basic, even at the bins. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. This I picked up because I was taking a bit of a gamble. I just looked it up and I don't think it's what I thought it was. This is like, I mean, it's reasonably cute. It's kind of geometric-y, abstract print. It's cute color, whatever. It's by JH Collectibles and it's in a 1X. So that's a good size. When I saw JH, I was like, Jillian Harris? And I was like, eh. on the off chance it could be, I'm throwing it in. So we picked it up. And also like, it's not not cute. I would totally wear this and I could see a lot of people who would but yeah I thought it might be Jillian Harris and now that I've just looked up just now JH collectibles I don't think that it is because I think it said something like founded in 1945 or something so that doesn't seem like a thing that would be Jillian Harris but I thought if it was her her clothes anything associated with her sells so good and fast and hi so I, I just took a chance um I still think this might sell fine but we'll see next pack is another north face fleece this one's boys oops way too far this one's a boys so uh it's a boys medium and yeah um we didn't pick up any kids clothes but we pick up kids north face if we're at the bin these I'm not really sure about these they say they're Vince Camuto I guess they're lightweight like summery pants we're just gonna see how they go. They're in a size medium, but I, I just saw Vince Camuto and I checked them over for flaws and they didn't have any, so I threw them in the cart because, like, that must have been max a pound, right? Next is just this Star Wars graphic shirt. It's very, very oversized. 4XL. That could, I don't know if that's women's or men's or if that's, does that start to blend at those sizes? I don't know. Anyway, it was like kind of the vintage looking Star Wars shirt too, which is why I decided to pick it up and the 4XL and, and bins. Next, this is the Banana Republic sweater. Um, the t fabric, it says Baby Terry. And if you could freaking touch this thing, it's the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. Um, I think that's what Baby Terry means. It just means like, hey, this is soft as a frick. So, yeah, and it's a size medium. It's in a cute, like, light pinky coral shade. And I think someone will buy it. I've never heard of this brand. This is 100% style. But is this not the most, like, periwinkle, first of all? So, the trending color of the time. And then it's got, like, lace edges, like, hem at the edges. It's super, like, patchwork and boho-y and, like, maybe cottage y And I think that someone wants this. But the brand is Flower, and I have no idea what that is, or what it means, or what it could be about. It's 100% rail, though. That's cool, and it's in a size large. And I think it's pretty cottagecore and trendy, and it's going to sell for a lot. It's going to be great. Next, just a Billabong graphic t-shirt. Um, things like this sell pretty well for me, but only for like 15 bucks. But while I'm at the bins, might as well. And it had this like 
extra bit on the back. So good enough. And it's in a size large. Next is this Lucky Brand polo t-shirt. It's men's large. It doesn't really look like a large to me, but we'll see. Um, it's in like light blue. And Lucky Brand is something I'd pick up at the bins almost every time, but not at the thrift store because they're like, hey, do you want to pay me $12 for Lucky Brand? And I'm like, no, I want to sell it for $12. No, not $12. Definitely not a profitable amount. I don't know what this is. Um, I still don't know what this is. I need to look it up. It looks like a little like utility button up shirt. It's got this on it and this is the tag and I know nothing about it and I'd look it up but this this thing at the top says working in the cities of progression and regression. What does that mean? It just looked like it took itself kind of seriously. Modern beach culture. Like I thought maybe this brand would have a following because it seems to take itself seriously. And so we picked that up. Next, we have a shirt by Public Opinion. I got it because it's like this really cute, like Hawaiian button up shirt. If I were a dude and I was looking for one of these kind of like Hawaiian style tropical shirts, I'd be looking for this one because I think it's extra cute. Next, just a BP fleece. So BP, I think it's Nordstrom, Nordstrom in-house brand. I think I already realized this one. Anyway, but a flannel makes it all the more sellable. And I like these colors and it's in a size medium too, which is great. Okay, this is a Fairlane sweater, not a brand I know of or have heard of. It's a V-neck men's sweater in a size medium, but it said 100% merino wool. Um, I have not like thoroughly, thoroughly checked it for holes yet, but I haven't found any yet. So we'll see if there's a hole. But when you see merino wool and you're at the bin and you pick it up. This is an Eileen Fisher shirt. Um, It doesn't have stains. It just has fluff sticking to it because it's like a a knit material but other than the fluffs it's in really great condition and it's this nice like lime green shade really deep v and knowing Eileen fisher it's made of something really cool 15 percent cashmere 85 percent organic cotton so thanks Eileen fisher this is probably one of my favorite things that we found um it's a cleo bella bodysuit look at these bell sleeves they're just amazing Cleo Bella retails for quite a lot and has an okay resale value. I think this is like the cutest piece. I would totally wear it, but it's a size small and I shouldn't wear the best things we find anyway. So we will be selling that and I think this should hopefully go for over $40, but we'll see. Next is another Lucky Brand shirt. It's like basically see-through. The only flaw on this, and it's unfortunate, is that it had these tassels and this one's super frayed. So my thought is that I'm going to cut the tassels off and sell it without, but I'm not sure if that's the best idea. So let me know in the comments because hopefully maybe these aren't all listed by the time you are all seeing this. And here we go. Even found a bunch of Boss Hugo Boss items, which is great. Um, except I don't think this one's real. So I'm just going to get rid of this right now. Let's just end on this one for this video. This will be good. So this is a Sundance shirt. Very boho-y, as you can see. Very festival-esque. Um, and Sundance is reasonable to pick up and resell. So this is in a size extra small, but quite oversized. And it's like a little tunic. It could be a mini dress, depending on how tall you are. So yeah, that is part one of the Goodwill Bins haul. I will be back for part two and probably part three. I don't know how many items we went over, but it was a lot. And I have to go now. So have a great day. Um, stay tuned for the next Goodwill Bins haul video. That will be up soon. And have an amazing week.